Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, thanks for coming to my little corner of the internet. Uh, in the event that you stumbled across this video separate from the beginner's guide, I just want to give a quick introduction. Today we're going to be going over how to fix the Helium app for backup and restore uh, for Android. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the ADB drivers and Helium to your desktop, as I did in the beginner's guide. Uh, you're also going to want to enable USB debugging on your device. Uh, this can be found in emulators on just the preferences section. Uh, once the engine is loaded, there will be a little option here that says allow ADB connections or something similar. Uh, you can just enable that and then restart BlueStacks or your emulator of choice and you'll be able to connect uh, otherwise, uh, you're also going to want to access the little zip file that I put into the description for this video in the event that you don't trust uh, little files from people on the internet, that's totally fine. Uh, you can just go ahead and download and install Android Studio from where it exists on the internet. You can just Google Android Studio or Android SDK to download and install that. Uh, It'll open up a project for you, and you're just going to want to open up the SDK Manager, which can be found right here, or sometimes it's in the tools. Yeah, right here, SDK Manager. Uh, you're going to go to SDK Tools, check SDK Build Tools, Android Emulator, Amyloid SDK Platform Tools, and Android SDK Tools. Uh, hit OK. Obviously, nothing's going to install for me because I already did, but for you, there will be some installations required. Then you're going to want to open up several files. You're going to want to open up the installation path for where you installed Helium and the USB drivers, and that's just defined in your installation path. You're also going to want to open up the Platforms Tools folder. In your app data, you can see the path to that right there. It's just in the app data local Android SDK platform tools. In the event that you did decide to go with the zip file, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and open that up there. All right, uh, regardless of whether you're using the zip file or uh, the manual installation, you want to go ahead and copy these three files. Just copy to Win32. Perfect. Replace the files in the destination. And we're going to want to do the same thing. Go up, go up in Universal ADB driver. You'll see the same three files just in the main folder here. It's not in a subfolder. Uh, copy to Universal ADB driver. Place the files in this destination. And I'll assume you know the rest. Helium will now work as expected. You just start the Helium app, plug in your phone, enable USB debugging, and you'll be good to go. Uh, I appreciate you coming out to check this guide out. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your evening. See ya.